on a lighter note. GTA 6 to feature crime-free mode. This Source was April claim. 1st. Uh, that's, that's definitely 100% April Fool's, but... There are crime-free I modes. I actually like this April Fool's. Okay, okay. This is a good April Fool's, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Because I think there's a market for this. When I see the... Like, I see the guy on the lawnmower, like lawnmower simulators, farming simulators. Peaceful. They exist. Those games exist. Yeah. yeah. It's not like Twitter HQ on Alcatraz. Those things exist. Mm-hmm. So if there was a crime-free GTA, it could maybe find an audience. Maybe not you know, the teenagers or whatever else. Or maybe even that. Maybe even everybody. I don't know. Uh huh. Dude, don't, I think it does exist. I think it's just funny that it's called Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. It's Hence the, the name. Crime-free mode sounds hilarious. But, you know, even in previous Grand Theft Autos, you can be a taxi driver, not commit any crimes. No, but there would be crimes still going on. There'd still be like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. That you don't commit. No. You kind of just drive your But this says crime-free. Yeah. I mean, could just be a completely peaceful world. Can you imagine? G- GTA Online or Red Dead Online's passive mode, but it'll con- con- completely change the face of the game. Weapons will be inaccessible, violent actions such as attacking civilians. This is the retirement community I was talking about inside your headset. <laughs> this is you. This is what you it is. You can live here. This is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Speed limits on races. Caught up in a gunfight, you should run. Oh, so there will still be crime. No, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a crime-free, entire crime-free version of it. Yeah. Utopia. Anyway, yeah. That's obviously April Fool's. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha, Will. All right.